Welcome. Thank you for joining us for these training videos. This first video shows how to assemble and use the Heinz Keystone Dispenser. This dispenser accepts one and a half gallon size Heinz Dispenser Pack product as well as the smaller three quarter gallon size bag. The steps involved are the same regardless of the pack size. In this video, we'll be working with a one and a half gallon bag of ketchup. The pump that comes with the Keystone Dispenser is fully assembled. Prior to initial use, we recommend the pump be properly cleaned and sanitized. There's a separate cleaning video that explains this process in detail. To reassemble the pump after cleaning and sanitizing, insert the dome, making sure the shorter tab is on top. Brush a small amount of cooking oil on the outer edge of the dome. Add the locking ring and secure it by firmly turning the locking ring clockwise. Turn the outer part of the black nozzle tip inside out. Insert it into the opening on the upper part of the pump, making sure the tab is pointed toward the dome. Then flip the edge up. Push the black inlet valve into the opening on the lower part of the pump. Fasten the valve by hooking the two flaps onto the pegs. Now that the pump has been assembled, you're ready to connect the product. Peel the tape and remove a one and a half gallon dispenser pack bag from the case. Place the bag on a flat surface directly in front of you. Be sure the white fitment, the part that looks like a belly button, is facing up. The bottom ring of the fitment will prevent the pointed end of the pump from piercing through the bottom of the bag. Position the pump so the pointed end is directly over the fitment. Press down firmly until the pointed end pierces the pouch and you feel a slight snap. The next step involves priming the pump. Raise the pump housing to an upright position and press the pump dome with both thumbs. Let it recover, then repeat until the product has just about reached the nozzle tip. For thicker products like relish or mayonnaise, you may need to lightly squeeze the bag first to get product into the pump chamber. Alternate squeezing the bag, then pumping the dome, until you see the product reach the nozzle tip. Brand new pumps are a bit rigid, but once they're broken in, priming the pump becomes easier. The final step is to load the product with the attached pump into the Keystone dispenser and add the lid. Make sure the guide lip on the front of the pump is inserted into the track on either side of the dispenser. Lift the pump and bag together, then slowly lower into the dispenser. You may find it helpful to briefly rest the bag on the top of the dispenser while guiding the bottom of the bag into the unit. The section of the bag that has the fitment should be at the bottom. With the handle of the lid in the up position, place the lid on the unit and push down until you hear a snapping sound. This sound indicates the lid is properly connected. To begin dispensing, press the handle several times until the product starts to dispense and is free of any air bubbles. This unit is preset at the factory to dispense three quarters of an ounce of product which is the equivalent of about one and a half tablespoons. An attached dispenser pack bag can remain in the unit at room temperature up to 14 days. After 14 days, any remaining product should be discarded. It is recommended that Heinz Keystone dispensers be disassembled and cleaned on a regular basis. One important point to know is that pumps for the larger Keystone dispensers are the same, except for Relish. The Heinz Relish dispenser has a slightly different pumping system in order to achieve evacuation of the thicker Relish. It's a good idea to disassemble and clean the Relish pump separately to make sure the parts of the Relish dispenser remain with that unit. Here's how to distinguish the two pumping systems. The relish pump has a black dome instead of the clear dome that comes with the other dispensers. The pump stem of the relish dispenser is made of a softer plastic, and the relish pump has a noticeably shorter piercing tip. This video shows the basic steps involved in disassembly and cleaning. We are using a previously filled ketchup dispenser in this demonstration. To disassemble, you will first need to remove the lid. 
Place one hand on the gray nozzle cover and another on the base of the unit. Pull the nozzle cover upward and then press the notch on the opposite side of the lid to release it. Next, remove the pump and its attached dispenser pack from the unit. Disconnect the pump from the bag. Disassemble the pump by first removing the black inlet valve from the lower section of the pump, then removing the black nozzle from the dispensing tip. Drop these parts into warm, soapy water for cleaning. Turn the locking ring counterclockwise and remove the dome. Add these to the sink filled with soapy water. Use the cleaning brush supplied by the manufacturer to clean hard to reach areas in the pump housing. Fully rinse all parts with clean water after washing and sanitize according to local sanitation requirements. Allow the parts to air dry. To clean the exterior of the unit and the lid, simply wipe with a clean, damp cloth. The advantage of linking multiple units together is to maintain a neat and orderly appearance in the condiment area and keep the dispensers from moving around on the counter. To begin the process, connect a black foot plate to the base of the dispensing unit by tilting the dispenser slightly and positioning it directly over one of the foot plate hooks. Press down on the unit until you hear a snapping sound. Then, to link another dispenser to the first unit, Attach a new foot plate to the previous one and repeat the above steps. To disconnect a dispenser in the chain, push down on one of the release buttons on the foot plate and slightly tilt the dispenser in the opposite direction to release the unit from the foot plate.